Well done for investing your time right now to watch this video, this short video on how to alleviate your cash flow problems. So whether you've actually got cash flow problems right now or whether you're concerned you might be going into a hole, investing your time now is going to be great value because you're going to find at least one of the next 10 steps I'm going to be giving you in this video, you, a step that you can put into practice right away, right now that's really going to help you. Um, a business website called smallbusiness.co.uk recently told us that seven out of 10 business owners cited cash flow as the biggest struggle they've got. And bearing in mind that many businesses are going to really suffer at best and go into receivership at worst over the coming months, I figured that putting together a short cash flow video now might really help you ensure that you're not one of the businesses that do end up struggling with this issue. So let's dig right in. So these 10 points. I'm going to start now. And so the first one, make sure you get your invoices out quickly. Really important. A lot of customers, a lot of people that I work with are finding that they, they assume that their invoices are going out quickly enough. But when they look into it, they're not. Have a check. If it's not you that's doing it, have a check. If it is you, make sure they're going out quickly. Secondly, make sure your clients and customers have got payment options. So maybe some of them like to pay by PayPal or credit card. There are a range of online options now that even small businesses can open up really easily and quickly. And if that ensures that their customers and clients pay quicker, then why not? Let's make it happen. Third point, send out reminders before they're due. Don't just chase people after the money's due. Phone people up two days before, three days before, four days before, and double check that the payment is going to be made on time. There's no guarantee that that's going to make a difference, but it has made a difference from what I've seen with clients in the past. The fourth idea is to incentivize early payments. So this might not work for all of you, but for some of you, it will do. If you can actually offer somebody something in return for them paying early, it needn't necessarily be a discount. It might be an added value service that you could offer them that's really going to help them with their business. Um, then that's something which you definitely need to think about. Fifth point is factoring. So this is essentially when you sell your invoices to a financing company for around 80% of the value. So this is great for businesses that are selling their time for money, that are exchanging their time for money, should I say. They can afford to take 80% of the value in exchange for a more positive cash flow situation in the, in the current state of play. Um, the next point is having a collection agency. You, speaking to a debt collection agency, don't be afraid to chase people. Um, the biggest problem I find is that people are not following a debt collection process. They haven't got one. We help clients put a debt collection process in place before we even get that far. So have a think about engaging with a debt collection agency if that's what you need. If you need help, if you need a contact, please speak to me because I've got a great one that we've used before to great effect. The next point is delay the payments going out. Now, I'm not saying uh, don't pick up the phone to your suppliers. I'm saying speak to your suppliers and make a payment plan with them. If you can't afford to pay straight away or you think that is going to get you into a cash flow hole, have that conversation with them. Devise a payment plan. And the majority of the time, they're going to be fine with that. They're going to accept the plan and you can move on as long as you actually do what you say you're going to do, which is really important going forward. Um, the Eighth point is review the agreements you've got with current suppliers. So now might be a good time to actually go back to your suppliers and renegotiate. Maybe your orders have gone up over the years, in which case your previous agreement was probably a bit uh, wasn't particularly favourable to you, whereas now you can renegotiate. All sorts of things you can do there. Just have a conversation with them and see what they can do. The, the uh, ninth point is to check your prospects credit scores so I, I mean when i say prospect i mean someone that wants to do business with you check out what their credit score is like don't offer them a heap of credit when we don't know whether they're going to be safe for it whether they're going to actually pay you at the end of the day and the tenth point is you might need to take on debt to get out of this cash flow hole so a lot of business owners i speak to say i've never taken on debt before everything in this premises I've bought myself, we own everything, uh, which is great. And, and that, is, that is admirable. However, there are times in life where you do need to take on debt. So you need to have a conversation with the right people to make sure it's right for you. So have a think about those 10. I want you to make a list of two or three of those ideas that you could put into action right now and diarize a time when you're going to actually take a look at these and try to make something positive happen to get your cash flow out of the position that it's in now or could get into if you do have absolutely nothing. So actually this cash flow strategy is part of a nine step process that we put into place with all of our clients to help them take their business from good to great. Now what I'm prepared to offer you is a 30 minute business 
conversation, a, 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 essentially a complimentary session where we can find out exactly where your main struggles are, whether they're cash flow, whether they're marketing, whether they're sales, whether they're managing a winning team um, or what have you. I'm more than happy to invest my time and gift my time to you. All you need to do is click the link, book in the session with me and let's get you started. Looking forward to hearing from you.